Cutting through the haze of a morning in Manila, a dark gray hull stood out among the ships dotting the Manila Bay horizon. Its large silhouette was unmistakable. I'm here in the hangar of the USS Ronald Reagan, the US Navy's only forward deploying aircraft carrier in the region. It's the first time in three years that this ship has visited the Philippines. This time, though, it comes amid heightened global tensions, but with the message that the U.S. is even more determined to show its resolve and deepen its partnership with allies like the Philippines. The Ronald Reagan Strike Group is a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, one of the largest in the world, equipped with the latest in weapons and defense systems. It's the only forward-deployed ship of its kind in the U.S. Navy. Sailors on board say that means it's a first responder to any emergency or crisis that may occur in the region. In the past year alone, the USS Reagan was one of four U.S. warships positioned in waters near Taiwan. It navigated the South China Sea amid heightened tensions between the U.S. and China over U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to the island in August. Days ago, the ship also participated in maritime exercises off the coast of South Korea after North Korea fired ballistic missiles and flew warplanes in a bombing drill, moves that escalated tensions with its rivals. Port visits like this are a key opportunity for us for building those relationships that are founded in trust in our credible combat capability and shared values that we have between our peoples. The port call in Manila is part of the U.S.'s Freedom of Navigation Operations, or PhoneOps. It ensures the South China Sea and the West Philippine Sea, along with other maritime lanes in the region, remain free and open to all international ships. The U.S. Navy looks to support and be ready as a credible, capable military. Those missions uh, reinforce our commitment that we will fly, steam, and sail anywhere international law allows. The visit is also an opportunity for both countries to reaffirm their treaty alliance, one of the oldest in the region. The waters of the Indo-Pacific are a dynamic and challenging environment to navigate, and we are fortunate to work with friends, partners, and allies in the, in the Philippines to achieve our mutual security goals. Not only do we say when we refer to the Philippines as our friends, partners, and allies, but also family, family in a very real way. For the ship's 5,000 crew, the visit to Manila is a homecoming long in the making. One of every 10 sailors on this ship are Filipinos. For some, like Catherine Serrano, it will be the first time since she reunites with her relatives here after six years. To be back, it's, it feels surreal, um, but I'm also very excited and I'm very happy to share it with my peers on board. To others, time in the country allows both Filipino and U.S. troops to forge friendships and learn how each side operates. Whether we're based in Japan or whether we're back in the States, whenever we go on deployment in this area, we always try to get to Manila. We are consistently trying to build that partnership to increase interoperability so that our navies can work together in the area. There is that word again, interoperability. Simply put, it means two navies aiming for a seamless working relationship, enabling both to operate side by side in a war situation. Port visits like this are important in ensuring that both navies are prepared to respond to any emergency or crisis in the region. It also demonstrates the deep ties between the Philippines and the U.S., a relationship that both countries underscore is even more critical in the region. On board the USS Ronald Reagan, Sophie Domer Cruz Rappler, Manila.